Hello everybody and welcome. In this tutorial, I will make a rendered animation of this Lamborghini's backlights, like this one, using SolidWorks Visualize 2019. So now let's start. After opening our model of the car, first thing we bought all the appearances, as we see here. I bought the golden paint, as you see, of the car. Also, I bought all the appearances. The second thing, we add in our SolidWorks Visualize from SolidWorks Add-ins. Okay. After that, we make an advanced export like this. Now after opening the program, we wait for rendering. As you see here, now the car appears. First thing we do is we want to show our timeline. We press on view tab and choose show timeline or a shortcut which is T okay so now we will choose our pack plate which is desert sunset from here we choose the third image like this Now we will switch to preview mode to make our motion more easily. And now we will resize and drag our car to be like this. To get a better view, as we see in the video, like this. Then we switch to fast mode to see. We will rescale and redrag to the left. like this then after that we will boot our environment switch to accurate mode we take a look on our car it seems not good this environment we will boot this race track HDR environment we press double click on it and now the environment is pretty good and more realistic as we see then we go to scenes then go to advanced and floor effects then floor reflection and increase it like this then floor roughness and increase it something like this And I will adjust all the appearances of this tire and all the appearances of the car. From here, switch appearances. Now we will change the tire's shape because it's not real. 
from here automotive then we check the sedan tire trade or we can put any one of the sports like this this one looks more real okay after that we will edit these backlights to be like real also choose from here glass and choose dark tinted glass like this also we apply the appearance for the other side after editing all the appearances as we see here we will begin our animation steps okay the first thing of the animation that we will play here in the red led appearance which is our backlights appearance okay we let the brightness be 3.4 like this okay then we drag our red timeline like this for 2 seconds and right click on our appearance and animation and select add keyframe as we see our led led animation keyframe was added here and now we will drag the yellow key like this also right click and the properties appearance and make the brightness 100 As you see, the keyframe was added. As you see, we will play at first mode by dragging the arrow like this. You can see the light become brighter. Okay. To be more easy in playing the animation, we check our preview mode and press play. Like this. Okay. Check the accurate mode, OK, and press here Output Tools and Output Settings. Then we check the resolution settings. First, the size, check it 1920 by 1080, and our resolution 300 is good. And from renderer selection, we check the accurate and render mode is quality and render bosses right 3000 and check enable the noiser and render device. You may select your CPU or GPU or both of them. I check both of them, which is hybrid. From this tab we check animation and frames per second let it 30 30 is good as you see the timeline is two seconds so the total frames is 60 
and we will check start animation render to improve our performance we will close the solidworks visualize and save our project like this now the render is running and the solidworks visualize was closing rendering is not complete continue in the background select yes and as we see the rendering is started rendering frame number one of the 60 frames as we see now after finishing our render we will go to the documents and SOLIDWORKS visualize content okay documents SOLIDWORKS visualize content is here and choose images and our video is here as you see this is our video if you learned something new please like the video and subscribe for my new channel also share the video with your friends and see you in the next tutorial